Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Corey and today I am going to be doing two DIYs and I'm going to be doing gingerbread signs. Okay, but to begin with, I'm going to be using these uh, sticker letters from Dollar Tree. And my first sign I'm going to be using this wooden sign from Dollar Tree, okay. And then I'm going to be using these little Christmas decors are from um, Walmart. So I'll be using this one and this one to do my sign, okay. And I'm going to be gluing these on here. Before I add my words onto it and let's see now these were hanging ones but I'm just gonna wait a minute I want to see if I can remove this so I can remove this I'm just gonna take this off instead see it looks like it's twisting it might come off if it does that would be great yeah okay I don't need these, so I'm going to be removing them out of my little sign here. Yep, they come out really easy. Oh wow, okay. So before I start to put my words, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, glue this on here. I'm going to make sure I have enough glue. And I'm just going to push it up right up on my corner here. There. I was going to say, in case if you don't have these from Walmart, you can get these for $1.98, which I thought is not too bad. But, you don't have these. You can always use these from Dollar Tree and you can just remove this also this will come off also you can remove this and if you want to if you don't like this on there and you can actually make your own gingerbread sign with this or unless you want to bake and make a out of a cookie dough you know the salt one the auto dough you can make uh, some gingerbreads also with your cookie cutters we have the cutters I'm just giving you suggestions and ideas how to make a gingerbread sign so just trying to inspire you okay and also if you don't have red letters you can always use black letters or if you want to write it in you can also use like a red marker if you have a red marker and if you're good on your penmanship, really nice, you know, you can just write it in. You don't have to use, uh, there's different ways, you know, you can do your signs on your words. So I thought I'd just suggest that to you. So just to inspire you to make a gingerbread sign if you want to make one. I'm making mine actually for my hot cocoa station. So that's why I, and it seems like everybody's into gingerbread this year. So I thought I should make one of these to share with you guys. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to end up putting uh, like gingerbread up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my little letters out of here. And I'm going to put gingerbread on the top. Now you can write anything you want on your sign. So I'm gonna start off like about right here. I just gotta make sure I get them on there straight. Okay. I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. I did. I enjoyed my Thanksgiving. I had, let me see, I had my grandkids come over, my son and my daughter-in-law. We all got together. We had a really nice Thanksgiving. 
And we also played uh, some games, you know. And we watched a uh, Christmas movie also, which we enjoyed that so much. We were watching The Grinch. <laughs> and we just had a nice time. That's all I can say. <laughs> Really enjoyed plenty of food to eat too, which was nice. Okay, let's see if I can get this in out. You know, these letters are so tiny, I thought they were going to be a little bigger. I was trying to look for bigger letters, but I couldn't find any, so I ended up getting this. I want to stick on my finger instead. Should move this a little more down this way so I can have it more in the center. Otherwise, I have it too much over there. Move my D out of the way here. Afterwards, if you want to make sure these don't come off, what I would do is um, use some little moss posh. You want to put this with moss posh on top afterwards so, to make sure your letters are well, they stick on here really good. That way, your letters don't fall off. What I should have done, I should have marked mark it much better in the center where I was putting it. But, you learn as you go. Okay, that's how my sign looks so far. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. Okay, I put Gingerbread Bakery since 1875. Isn't that so cute? I might end up moving this over a little bit. Let's see. Or, yep. <laughs> but that's how my sign looks for now. Okay. And now for my next sign. And I'm going to be using this other one. And this one also is from Walmart, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on here, like that. Okay. And this one, I think I'm going to be using one of these ornaments from the from Walmart also and I'm thinking of maybe adding this little mug down here I'll see after I add my letters to it okay and this one I'm just gonna put hot cocoa on it I think I'm gonna put hot cocoa bar on this one this is how my sign looks so far isn't that cute hot cocoa I like the way this looks. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to add this little mug here down here with the little marshmallows. I think that would look so cute. And like I said, these, you can purchase these at Walmart. They're $2.48 for these little ornaments. I think cute. If you don't use them on your, on your tree, you know, like a small tree you decorate it can always use them for make a sign like I am. I think this will look really cute down here. It's a little cocoa with the little marshmallows on there. Yeah, I'm just going to set it down here right at this corner here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to set it there. I could put it up here, huh? 
What do you think, Elmo? Cute up high or down here? but I kind of like it down here too. Maybe I'll just set it right at the bottom. I think this is so cute. I'll just set it up right up on the corner here. There. <laughs> I think this side came out so cute. I love this. Now, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and put Mosh Posh on here to make sure my letters don't uh, come up. So, that way, my letters don't fall off. But if you have a red marker, you can do this with the red marker if you don't have red letters. you can, Or you can even use black uh, letters also. So, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And then my gingerbread bakery company. I love the way this turned out. <laughs> I think this looks so cute. This is going on my hot cocoa station. So I can't wait to put this up. <laughs> now if you really enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And, uh, and if you're new here. Please subscribe to my channel and um, and give me those thumbs up and leave me comments because that would really help my channel get out there. I've been trying to work so hard to get my channel out there and, <laughs> and I appreciate all of you guys for helping me out, you know, and I hope you guys all had a beautiful, wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. <laughs> Bye now. Love you.